Did you know you have the power to transform your health and your life? After years of suffering with undiagnosed autoimmune symptoms, I found myself on an endless loop of expensive supplements, broken promises, and drive through meals. I was a busy working mom struggling with chronic pain. I could no longer keep up with life until I decided to take my health into my own hands. I discovered the healing power of whole foods and incorporated a healthy lifestyle that is simple, affordable, and maintainable even when life gets busy. With easy, whole food meal prep, meal planning, and wellness strategies, I healed my autoimmune symptoms, regained my energy, and lost 30 pounds along the way. I discovered I had the power to change my life, and I know you have that power too. Whether you're looking to reduce inflammation, lose weight, or optimize your health, this is it. Get ready to discover the vibrant life you deserve with the Prepared for Wellness podcast. I'm Ashley Cavolo, and I can't wait to join you on this journey. Hey, you guys, I am so excited to get into this topic today. If you listened to my previous episodes, you know that I nearly eliminated my autoimmune symptoms with a whole food lifestyle. I'm going to share what I learned through that process, and we will look at whole foods and how they heal and nourish the body. So what are whole foods? Whole foods are foods in their natural state. Additives have not been added to them, and they have not been processed. Whole foods are fruits, vegetables, eggs, meat, nuts, grains, and legumes. Oils that are derived from whole foods can also support the body, such as olive oil and coconut oil. And another beneficial food is spices. Spices have been used for centuries to prevent and cure diseases. The compounds in foods are incredibly powerful. They can heal, support, and nourish the body, prevent disease, and improve your overall health. And while we're on this topic, check out my free printable top 10 healing foods and spices list on my website. These items are amazing options to add into your meals each day. And I chose foods that are easily accessible to everyone and available in all grocery stores. So my top 10 healing foods are avocados, berries, broccoli, cherries, dark chocolate, grapes, green tea, leafy greens, mushrooms, and garlic. There are so many more, but these are my top favorite. So the spices that are on this list are basil, cinnamon, clove, cocoa, cumin, ginger, oregano, parsley, thyme, and turmeric. So what are the beneficial compounds in whole foods? I will break down a few of my favorite foods and spices to explain their compounds and benefits. So first we have one of my most favorite vegetables, broccoli. Broccoli contains beta carotene, calcium, choline, copper, fiber, camphorol, phenolic compounds, magnesium, niconidamide, monocleotide, selenium, sulfur, thiamine, phosphorus, riboflavin, sulforaphane, zinc, vitamins A, B6, C, D, E, K, iron, and potassium. Benefits can improve digestion and metabolism, neutralizes stomach acidity, reduces inflammation, supports the immune system, supports heart function, reduces bad cholesterol, detoxifies the body, regulates blood pressure, prevents anemia, strengthens bones and teeth, prevents premature aging, supports healthy skin, and supports eye health. And next we have basil. Basil contains vitamins A, C, E, and K, calcium, antioxidants, beta carotene, fiber, flavonoids, lutein, magnesium, potassium, and zinc, plus many others. Uh, The benefits are amazing for such a simple thing. Uh, Basil reduces stress, reduces inflammation, antibacterial benefits, fights off viruses, improves digestion, protects cells from free radicals, maintains homeostasis within the body, supports cell function, fights cancer, prevents premature aging, supports brain, liver, and heart health, prevents diabetes, improves mood, and reduces blood pressure. You guys, it's so crazy to think that basil that we can sprinkle on our pasta, mix into our sauces, put it on our chicken, that little sprinkle has so much power in it. It is 
so amazing. Okay, I'll move on now. Clearly, this gets me excited. <laughs> so, sorry guys. All right, move on to green tea. Let's go. So, green tea contains generous amounts of antioxidants such as amino acids, catechins, L-theanine, and polyphenols. Benefits prevents cancer, prevents neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, supports heart health, lowers cholesterol, aids in weight loss, increases brain function, prevents diabetes, reduces inflammation, and prevents anti-aging. So the last item on my list to cover is berries. Berries contain vitamin A, B, C, K, antioxidants, beta carotene, calcium, copper, fiber, folate, magnesium, phytonutrients, polyphenols, potassium, and zinc. Benefits, uh, they prevent some of the most known diseases such as diabetes, cancers, heart disease. Berries can also reduce inflammation, balance digestion, promote weight loss, and prevent premature aging. And I hear a lot of talk about the carbs and sugar content in fruit, mainly when it comes to weight loss. The keto diet is known for eliminating certain fruits and vegetables due to the sugar and carb content. And I really don't believe in a diet that eliminates any fruits or vegetables because of carbs or sugar, unless of course it was directed by a doctor. That's a different story. So I just want you to imagine the benefits we would miss out on if we were cutting even just a few of the foods out that I mentioned here. It's just crazy. So here's what I want you to do. The next time you sit down to eat a snack or a meal, look at the food on your plate. Count how many fruits or vegetables and spices there are. Think about the flavors of your food, the type of food in front of you, and ask yourself what else you can add to that dish. If you are having a taco, try a taco salad instead and load it up with anything you can think of. Diced onions, peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocado, black beans, spices, salsa, um, whatever you can think of. Just imagine if you did that for every single meal, your body would love you. So go to my website, grab the 10 foods and spices list on the made page of my website. Scroll all the way down towards the bottom, print this list, and see if you can incorporate these items into your meals every day. I challenge you. I hope this episode inspires you to make small changes today that will improve your health. And as always, thank you for stopping by and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope this episode helped you in your health journey and just maybe you learned something new. If you love this episode, please leave a review. When you do, you are helping this podcast reach others around the world. Visit my website, preparedforwellness.com to view my coaching offers, free recipes, and so much more. Don't forget to grab your free gift while you're there. Follow me on Instagram at Prepared for Wellness and join my VIP Facebook group, Prepared for Wellness Community. Don't miss out on the fun and special announcements.